Namaste. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Ladies and gentlemen, elected officials, interfaith leaders, COVID frontline workers, and members of the community, I welcome you to Hindu American Foundation's first ever virtual gala. We hope that tonight you will become informed of issues, energized to action, and entertained. Across the globe, there is an intolerance of pluralism, which is the principle that the world is better when people value diverse paths of beliefs and practices. Hinduism offers the teachings that truth is one, but can be called by various names. And that every being is divine, irrespective of race, religion, sex, or sexual orientation. In just a few moments, I will be turning over the virtual stage to HAF's fearless executive director and co-founder, Suhag Shukla, for an interactive dialogue about dharmic values with business leader, humanitarian, and Grammy-nominated artist, Chandrika Tandon. I really want to marry Kondo my whole self and my possessions and my attachment. And you know, I'd always thought about it, but right now it's assumed a whole urgency. I mean, I guess that's what they call aparagriha in, in, uh, in the yamas, but you know, the fifth yama. But it's truly, you know, um, they say that when you're stripped of all your possessions, you really find out who you are. I have a great need at this moment. Not that I'm about to throw out everything, but I'm close to that. I, I keep wondering what would happen. We are true mustard seeds in this billion of year, billions of years planet, and we don't know when we'll go. So I really think a lot about how do I make my life useful, you know, purity of purpose, illuminate the, and, and focus on really creating impact. And, and you know, I really credit my parents that when I kept asking these questions, for them, having gone through an osmotic process, they didn't necessarily know how to answer my questions. And so they said, you know, we don't know. We're going to all learn together. As the mom of a 21 year old and a 17 year old, uh, the first thing I tell, because I get this question a lot, is practice what you preach. Uh, you know, I use, I, I have been active with our Chinmaya Mission Balbihar for many years, and it is not a drop off activity spirituality and our teachings are not something that you can just give kids books or drop them off at class and and be done with it um, we are the best uh, medium to teach our young people uh, what our tradition stands for now the challenge is you know many of us live dharmic lives you know just take something as simple as atiti devo bhava that they treat the guest as if they were God. Someone comes to your door and, and Hindu families will open their doors, invite them in, treat them uh, with abundance and take care of them. But oftentimes what's missing is articulating it. And I know that on some level for our tradition, it feels unnatural because humility and, and being selfless is so much a part of the core of the tradition. But in terms of being able to educate it and connecting our actions to a philosophy or connecting the philosophy to our actions, it goes both ways. Uh, I do think that parents and adults in a community are, uh, are well placed to ensure that the kids understand it. And, you know, I think sometimes we're hard on kids. Uh, there are many adults who, who don't know the tradition. So, that's part of the reason HAF does a lot of the work that we do. Uh, what we found in our Education 101 programming, for instance, is that while our target was educators so that they could teach about Hinduism in more accurate ways, we're finding a lot of people who didn't necessarily have the opportunity to learn about the tradition are coming and taking that as a starting place and then moving on to their local temples or to gurukulams and some of the other amazing institutions that our community has built. Now, for some entertainment, a Kathak tap collaboration called Speak by Leela Dance Collective. Indian Kathak dance and American tap dance share parallel stories of struggle and perseverance. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,
Our next presenter tonight, Congresswoman Thulsi Gabbard of Hawaii, is one who reminds us that Hindu Americans come from all walks of life and have origins from around the world, not just in India. Namaste and aloha. I'm coming to you all here today from Hawaii and very, very grateful to be able to join you for this historic gathering, this virtual gala. And I was listening again earlier to the previous presenters and think, gosh, this is so amazing. This is so amazing. And then I remembered there's one really important component that's missing that our tech entrepreneurs have yet to figure out. And that is the food. We're missing the food. <laughs> so I, I look forward to the time we can all get together and we can share a meal and we can uh, celebrate the great work that HAF continues to do both in the United States and around the world. HAF is the foremost advocacy organization that is making a very real impact, not only for Hindus, uh, but for those of other minority religions, those who are also facing uh, different kinds of bigotry or discrimination. And um, I, I couldn't be more proud to uh, to, to have worked hand in hand with HAF. One of my favorite quotes from Nelson Mandela, I'm sure all of you know this, but I will read it anyway. He said, no one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate. And if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. For love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi says that we must be the change we wish to see in the world. And for me, I, I was I, grateful to, to be taught this lesson really from, from a young age. It was something my parents passed on to us. Like, look, you see something wrong, you see a problem, figure out how you're going to be a part of the solution. So it's, it's, this has been my experience in my life. And I, I hope that all of you, as, as we navigate through this path together, that you are also able to find this strength and this resilience and this happiness uh, in in this practice, uh, in the wisdom that we learn from Krishna and the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, I'll close with this quote actually from St. Francis of Assisi, uh, who said, for it is in giving that we receive. And Mahatma Gandhi, who said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. And when we talk about others, it's not just others in our family. It's not just others who we're comfortable with. It is in the service of others, even those who may be different from us, those who may have a different background, those who may have a different political view. The more we can build these connections, respect each other, treat each other with aloha, recognizing that spirit that is uh, within, within every one of us that connects us all eternally, this is how we find our way forward. Thank you all so much for the opportunity to share a few words with you. Uh, thank you for supporting the work that the Hindu American Foundation is doing. Uh, it is ever more needed, uh, especially in these times. Thank you. Jai Shri Krishna. Namaste. Namaste.